What is going on my fellow YouTube Iranians? My name is Scrunt and today we are back on some MX vs ATV All Out. Now in this video I wanted to show you guys how to become a wheelie god and impress all of your friends in free ride or free roam, whatever you want to call it. Now what we're going to be doing here today is using the 125cc two-stroke and also the 250cc two-stroke and we're going to be uh, doing a very slow 360 while wheeling and basically making uh, the balance point for the 125 and the 250 glitched. Um, so I'll show you right now what I mean and then I'll go step by step on how to do it. Hopefully I can do it first try too. That would be nice. And there it is. Yep. So this is what I'm going to be teaching you how to do. There is no advantage uh, from doing this at all. You know, this is just a fun little thing that I found. Actually, like the first week of playing this game, but I never made a video about it. I always planned on doing it, and I thought, why not now? Uh, so, this is actually a very simple trick to do, and uh, I would suggest starting on the 125, um, just to get used to it and just to like figure it out first, because the 250, while it is able to do it, is a lot harder, and uh, you really need to know the basics of just how to do a 360 while wheeling before you can even attempt it on the 250 I think so uh, my 125 is fully upgraded uh, the gearing on it I'm pretty sure is just all the way to the right yeah it is so it, it's just a basic tune I mean you could probably do this with any tune that's on your bike um, I had a national tune for this 125 and I was able to still do it, but I've noticed that just pushing everything to the right uh, makes it a lot easier to do this for some reason. Uh, so let's go step by step on what to do first. So the first thing is if you're not like used to doing wheelies all the time, find that balance point on the 125. So the point right before you're actually going to fall off and uh, ruin the wheelie. You really want to start getting comfortable being at that point and just uh, able to flick up the bike and be able to ride at that point and not actually fall over. Now another thing to mention is that we are not going to be using the clutch whatsoever. The clutch uh, actually ruins this trick and it makes you go too fast. So uh, I guess I'll show you what it happens if like you do it too early. Uh, you go in a wide circle um, and then you just kind of fall over because you're going too fast and if you do it too late like this then you're going to like glitch out the bike and you're gonna go like miles an hour um, and you can't stop so you really got to time this perfectly but the margin of error is a lot smaller on the 125 than it is the 250 that's why I picked uh, the 125 to actually show you guys how to do this so uh, once you get done like getting used to the balance point on the 125 the next thing that you're going to want to do is bring your bike up into a wheelie and right when the guy basically like goes from like a half stand to sitting down um, and you can really that front fender looks like it's basically at 12 o'clock standing straight up parallel uh, then that's when you want to take the left stick and go either left or right so you're going to be holding the right stick down uh, the entire time like never let go of the right stick going down and also never let go of the gas unless you are about to fall over from doing too tight of a wheelie um, so to do it like fluently you're just going to press the gas go down on the right uh, analog stick and then go left once that front fender is pretty much at 12 o'clock uh, so if you do it right you will be able to just pop up into a wheelie and then hold it. Uh, once you get up here, just hold the stick, uh, the left stick to the left or right and the right stick down and then hold the gas. Um, now the only problem with doing this is that in these flat locations, they're going to get rutted up really, really badly. Uh, so this location is actually located in the Flying Motor Ranch. You spawn right there, literally turn around, it's five feet up the road. Uh, this is a really good place to practice it. This is actually where I discovered it. Um, but this is going to get rutted up really quickly uh, the more that you do it. So there are a few other places that you can go in order to do this. And I think the best places are actually the freestyle tracks because the ground is very flat other than obviously the jumps. Uh, so you can really practice this quite a bit in the freestyle tracks. But if you don't really want to load up a track and you just want to, you know, 
turn around and <laughs> and start doing it then this is definitely the place i mean you definitely have like a lot of room to kind of practice in so i would say you probably could get like three circles fit into this little place uh, because obviously like I just did one and now it's kind of like messed up and bigger But you can really see like where you know I've been because it's just a circle right now So you can get like three of these inside of this like small flat area And then it just becomes too much and you can't really do it uh, So that's basically it. I mean mm -hmm. it took me probably like 20 minutes 30 minutes to really feel I guess comfortable with it and able to just do it whenever like just popping up um, now this is only available for the 125 cc and the 250 cc two stroke i have tried it with every single other bike and it just does not work um it, the four-wheeler you can kind of do it but it's so weird and it's not like the actual dirt bike when you're doing it so it's really uncontrollable on the four-wheeler uh because you're going so fast and you have so much grip that it's very hard to uh be able to do the 360 so these are the only bikes that you can actually do this trick on um, and once you get that down uh, you can go to the 250cc two-stroke let me switch to it real quick I am doing this live so do forgive me oh my god it takes so long to go through the menus and there's my 250 now the 250 uh, does take a bit more practice and I think I put a tune on here so just for the sake of this video, I'm going to tune this bike all the way to the right. Uh, as you can see, I was dabbling around in the national track tune. And it actually did work pretty well. Uh, it still needs some fine tuning, but all right. So everything's, oh my God, everything's to the right. Um, now this is where it gets really hard because like I said, the margin of error for the 250 is like a lot less than the 125. So the 125, there are multiple places where you can start to go left or right uh, while leaning and you'll still be able to do a successful 360 wheelie. While the 250, there's like one place or two places where you can actually start uh, going in a circle. And it's, it's very, like I haven't done it on the 250 in a very long time. So I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get it. You have to do it very, very quickly. And this place is actually rutted up now. So... I think I'm going to uh, just going to send it to a freestyle track real quick. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. Freestyle, there it is. Uh, this one works. All right. Uh, so, like I said, if this place gets way too rutted up, definitely head over to a freestyle track. I think they're a lot better uh, just because they're way more open. Um, but the 250, you really have to do it very, very quickly. So, almost at as soon as you pop up the bike you have to be going left or right uh it's very awkward it's very weird i don't like doing it on the 250 it does not feel natural or fun uh like the 125 does all right so we got this started oh i only have two minutes in this match i probably should have thought of this ahead of time oh well see it just keeps glitching like that it is very hard to do with the 250 my whole 250 is actually glitching for some reason uh which is really weird Ah, see, I can get it to stand up, but to actually do the wheelie is pretty hard. You got to do a lot of throttle control with the with the 250 because she just stands up on her own. Uh, so if you are trying to do this on the 250, it is possible, uh, but you have to feather the throttle. Now I remember. Yeah, buddy, look at that. Ooh, look at that slow turn. Look at that slow turn. Yeah, you're going to be impressing all your friends if you can actually do that. Uh, so the 250, I think, cooler because you can get that tighter circle. But it does take a little bit more skill. Um, and it requires you to feather the gas a little bit. But if you get that all down and uh, you finally are able to do it, it does look pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. I forgot how sick it looked on the uh, 250. I just remembered the 125. So... Uh, I think that's going to be it for this video, guys. It's just going to be a, a quick little explanation video. Um, I, f I think it's pretty interesting. I think I'm the first one in the world to ever discover this. I've never seen any videos about it, and I don't think that it was intentionally made to be this way. But I love finding things like this uh, in MX vs. ATV. I did it in Encore, where I found how to do a unlimited stoppy. Um, 
and I did it in a live uh, where I found like a oh, what was what is it called an Doro course, but like on rocks or whatever. Uh, I don't know. I just like finding quirky little things that aren't meant to happen, I guess, and aren't meant to be what I make them to be. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, but that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure you drop a like and also remember to subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more MX vs. ATV content. Uh, but that's going to be it. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Peace.